there's a huge gap between the security of the corporate world, uh, no, the, the steady monthly uh, paycheck, and the uncertainty of becoming an entrepreneur. And you know, for many people, that's such a huge gap. And I, I've been there and I've been on that chair, so I know how that feels. And what I found is that if I don't listen to that voice, and if I don't bridge that gap, then the, the kind of inner calling or the passion which is trying to come out will symptomize. And I know that in my own life, it was starting to sim symptomize. You know, I was sometimes getting depressed at work. I just didn't feel right there. I felt, I started to blame people, colleagues, managers, um, and just didn't feel particularly good about myself. You know, I really started to eat at my self-esteem and my self-confidence. And I knew that if I had gone further down that route and not taken action, then it would have further symptomized as um, some kind of you know, serious illness. And in fact, that's what happened. That's what happened. You know, I ended up with an abscess in my brain. You know, it makes me think whether you know, that was the cause of just not listening to my inner calling. And it took an abscess in my brain to really wake me up and take action.